Hey Chicky, so today we are doing origami stamping. Now if you follow me on Snapchat you would have already seen me snap about this stamping plate from Moyu London. Uh, it is a Moyu London plate but I bought it from Picture Polish. All the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below as per usual. Before we get into it don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my haphazardly uploaded videos. <laughs> yeah let's get into it. <laughs> Now on all of my nails I'm starting off with a white base and of course that is OPI's Alpine Snow. Two coats, two thin coats and you're done. And next we're obviously going to go into a little bit of nail cleanup porn. Enjoy. So the next step is, and this is something I do with every single mani, or pretty much almost every single mani, I add a coat of Sesh Beat over my base colour before moving on to the next step. Now the colours I'm going to be using today are also from OPI, they're from the Retro Summer Collection. The yellow is called Towel About Me, the blue is called Sailing and Nailing, Nail In, get it? <laughs> and the final one is the pink which is called What's the Double Scoop? These were sent to me by Coty PR in Australia. Now to create the soft fluffy kind of gradient background I'm going to be using my e.l.f. concealer brush. You've seen me use this on numerous occasions. They're very cheap in America but in Australia they're $9 each so I've still got, I think I've got two but I only really use one of them. Uh, you can use any kind of short stubby kind of brush. It doesn't have to be expensive because you're not doing anything super fancy with it. So this process is exceedingly easy. You've seen me do it so many times now. So basically I'm using my silicone mat from Bliss Kiss. I'm putting the polish onto that then smushing the brush into the colour and then smushing or stabbing or dabbing whichever way you like to think about it onto the nail. I've, as I'm using three colours so I'm doing a third of my nail with the blue, a third of the nail with the yellow and then a third of the nail with the pink. Making sure that you go up into say so once you do the blue, you've done that, then you do the yellow and then you make sure that you overlap the yellow onto the blue and then when you're doing the pink, you overlap the pink onto the yellow. So you get sort of almost like a soft mottled gradient effect. As I mentioned before, this creates virtually no mess and especially considering I'm using such light colours, the mess is virtually non-existent. So uh, if you're using darker colours, you might want to use a little bit of liquid latex to protect the skin around your nails and make clean up a little bit easier. And the final step just to prepare the base for the stamping is to add another coat of Sesh Feet over the top of this. Now uh, as you can see the Sesh Feet actually helps to blend the colours even further. The black stamping polish that I'm using is from Mundo de Unias. I think I got it right that time. Uh, as you can see the stamping plate is Origami Collection number 6 and I'm starting off with the Unicorn. And once you have your image on your stamper, you can then transfer that onto the nail of your choice. I'm using my middle nail for the unicorn. So as you can see, once I transferred the image onto my nail, it got a little bit smushed and uh, I didn't want to have to redo the whole thing. So I just got my Royal Majestic brush and my non-acetone remover in an attempt to try and clean up the lines a bit. As it's the origami stamping plate, you really want your, your image to be really as crisp as you can make it. So now the opportunity to clean something like this up is really small. <laughs> the moment that it dries it gets a lot harder and then you might accidentally go into the base that you've 
lovingly created so you don't want that to happen but you just got to be really gentle and really kind of quick with your cleanup when it comes to stamping so I'm going to leave that middle nail to dry and then we're going to come over to the ring finger nail and add some liquid latex for the next stamping and this is going to be the Pegasus image from the plate. Now the reason why I'm using the uh, liquid latex on this one and not the other one was because the Pegasus image has a lot of swelliness around the side and I wanted to pick that up as well. I wanted to take the whole image. Now I'm not really sure why the polish was kind of smudging a little bit it's just you know I'm not the greatest stamper in the whole entire world that's for absolute sure but either way it, it wasn't too, so bad that I had to start all over again so no, no biggie it's all good <laughs> no big deal and once everything is completely dry you can go ahead and seal it in with your favorite top coach mine of course is Sesh Beach as per usual and yes, on the unicorn nail, I did not film the adding of the clouds. I apologise. And the, like the rainbow thing. I apologise for that. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I love how it turned out in the end, as per usual. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch my previous video, which was... I can't remember the whole name of it, it was this really long one. Uh, for, it, either way, it had four tutorials in it, one water marble and three water marble hacks. I don't think I, I don't think I titled it very well. Anyway, I'm going now. <laughs> Go and watch it and don't forget to subscribe. It's really important because it makes me feel loved. <laughs> I'm going now, bye. <laughs>